went to a house called um, Cliveden. I don't know if anybody knows Cliveden. It's sort of on the river in uh, up near Marlow. And I've heard about it, but I've never been. And then Susan said, oh, we've got to go. And, I, and of course, I always obey Susan, you know. I, she says, we've got to go. Well, I'll go, you know, I'd never argue. And I'll tell you what, it was fantastic. And I took loads of photographs. And I've just chosen this one um, because today I just wanted to talk a little bit about composition. Um, and I think I tried to shoot this take the photograph in the sort of composition I would use if I was painting it. I've got another example here that was sent in uh, by a student and it's a lovely photograph, it's on a beautiful day, look at that cerulean sky, that is cerulean and you notice it goes light as you go down to the horizon it gets lighter. You should always remember, I sometimes forget that a little bit, it's quite important, start really dark cerulean then as you come down, you use more water, and by the time you get down there, it's really light. But then you've got to stop at that point and then start your raw sienna mixture. There's only two colours here, the cerulean and raw sienna and olive green. Then you've got this road bit. Um, so anyway, I just want to talk a little bit. Oh, I was going to have a shoot. Hang on a second. This will do. I was looking for a sheet of paper. Right, we're talking about composition. It's a great shot, but there's something from a composition point of view or a rule of thirds. Remember that rule of thirds we talked about? I think from a photograph, this works really well. There's nothing wrong with this at all. From a painting, though, I think that it, it needs looking at because you, you've got quite a big ex expanse of road. I know this is literal, but you've got a big expanse of road. And then your eye is taken through the central point. And that's that's a shame in a way, because you the eye sort of gets a bit confused with, hang on, should I be looking over this big clump here or should I look over there? There's a bit of a choice. Do I look left or do I look right? Or do I <clears throat> carry straight on? So from a composition, <clears throat> it just needs a little bit of bit of working out. Now Got this little bit of paper. I'm going to draw something. Right. We have to make a decision about having the, what do you call it? I call it a pinch point. Yeah. It's this, obviously. So, you know, if you've got your landscape proportion, you really do need to, to break it into thirds. Um, this is a bit rough, but. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? It's sort of thirds. And what you need to do is have this point here along the bottom. And I think you have to make a decision. I think you have to cut that off. I, again, let's make this open. If, if you want to discuss it, fine. I, I don't mind and I can be wrong, but I think that in a sense has to come off. And also the base, you can show a little bit of that road, but I think that mm. is your composition, yeah? Would you, would you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got that, we've got this, well, maybe that's over. This, sit, this lives sort of here on, on that, the stuff coming down. There's a shadow here, there's bits there, there's a tree here, maybe that there. So I'm going to colour this in actually. See, I can't help colouring things in, I'm, I'm terrible at it. Even on an envelope, you can paint on an envelope, why not? <laughs> I mean, I know it's not much, and I know it's painted on an envelope. I've done that on purpose. I just want to show you, it's just, if you get values right, and you get, and you get things in the right place, you know, in terms of composition, 
and you work on the, you know, the, the thirds, you'll end up with quite a nice painting. Got some nice bit of strong value going on here that works well with that light here and the light there, that field. And the, let's just go back and have a look. Yeah, I have this conversation with students about drawing. How much do you draw? How much don't you draw? I think you need to do some drawing just to, to get things in the right place. Composition wise, it's not too bad. I think this point through the middle is a bit middling, really, maybe a little bit, but this angle sort of helps you. And it, 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 this is obviously a pinch point. 